This is a Fender American Vintage 62 Stratocaster from about the year 2000. <laughs> guitar used but it was only just slightly used it was pretty much new um, from Charlie Chandler's guitar experience uh, down there in Hampton Wick and it was one of a run of special edition guitars that Fender made to go alongside Andy Babiuk's gear book the Beatles gear book around about 2000. <laughs> So Fender American Vintage guitars have changed a little bit over the years with different levels of authenticity. Around this time, um, it's so it's nitrocellulose finish, which is one important thing about American Vintage. It has an older body, it has a maple neck as you'd expect, slab rosewood board, which would have been right um, pre-63 when it changed. Um, now finishes very greatly uh, with Fender reissue instruments. This one I guess looking at it is kind of what they would call a thin skin now because it doesn't have any appreciable thick undercoat and it chips off really really easy which I really like. It was absolutely unmarked when I got it and now it kind of uh, has some more marks. In terms of what I've changed this pick guard was a replacement by Fatboy Guitars um, made to look old complete with the proper crack here as you'd get. Um, and the pickups are Seymour Duncan Antiquity. Uh, they are, let me see, Texas Hot in those two positions and in here there is a custom bridge. So yeah, Seymour Duncan Antiquities. Um, Dan actually gave me a 0 .0022 uh, orange drop cap many years ago, which is the tone capacitor. And I have this Infinity volume control, as you can see, because I'm far too lazy. <laughs> to fix it. Other than that, oh, titanium saddles. Yeah, titanium saddles, which, you know, may or may not make a difference. And I had it refretted by Patrick Eggle. Refretted it once. It's so funny with strats, if you if you don't play strats, a strats, a strats, a strat, and you pick one up and it's much the same as the next, to anyone who's really into strats, they're all just slightly different. And for this one, what I really love about it, it has quite a light body, not a feather light body, but quite a light body. Um, it has a decent sized neck, and for some reason, I just picked it up that day in the shop, and I think I, and I bought it there and then, and that was that. Um, and since then, it's just become, my main guitar and for some reason I bonded with it and I've had conversations with people at Fender over the years about why it might work that way and who knows just some guitars work for you and some guitars don't this one does uh, and yeah I love it dearly because of the vintage radius board so it's seven and uh, 7.25 inch radius board which the vintage guitars have, you can't have a super low action. I mean, maybe you can if you're really brilliant at setting up guitars and stuff, but you can't have a super low action. And in any case, I don't like that. I like a bit of relief in the neck um, because I tend to hit the guitar pretty hard and I like to be able to get underneath the strings. I find guitars with very low actions, I can't get under the strings. Um, so yeah, uh, I tend to use 10 to 46. Sometimes I use 10 to 52. And if I'm playing a lot, I'll go up to 11s. Um, I prefer the sound of 11s and I prefer the feel of 11s. But if I'm not playing a lot, I find them tough on the fingers. So um, I think the guitar sounds its best with 11s. But more often than not, it's got 10 to 52 or 10 to 48, depending on whatever strings I've got that week. <laughs> Thank you. 
The only thing I will change about it the next time it becomes necessary, which I think is probably sooner rather than later, is um, I'd like some slightly bigger frets. Um, at the moment, they're not quite 6105s. Pat didn't quite, he couldn't quite remember what the fret wire was when he put it in. Beautiful job, by the way. Um, but I think I'd probably go just a little bit wider on those frets, maybe, maybe to 6105s. Other than that, I need to fix my infinity volume knob here at some point. Um, and I might put a Callaham uh, cold rolled steel block in, but to be honest, through a series of happy accidents, the guitar just really seems to suit me and I've got completely used to how it reacts, so I'm wary of changing anything. And anytime anyone says, you know what, you should try this, I'm like, yeah, la 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 la. It, it's good, it works. <laughs>